Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows. What's up, YouTube? So I just wanted to update you guys. Okay, what do I have to update? So I'm still currently going to the gym about about three times a week, three to five if I can, but there's some weeks where I just can't go every day because life. But I've started lifting more like I'll go Monday, Tuesday, do upper body, lower body. I'll have like a rest day Wednesday and then I'll go Thursday, Friday, rest day sun Saturday, go Sunday, Monday. So it just kind of alternates, you get what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll go more days in a row, but I'm always alternating upper body, lower body. I've already mentioned I don't really work abs specific. I do cardio at the end of all of my workouts though, regardless. I try to do cardio every day besides like one rest day with cardio. And like I mentioned, I just do uh, like hit type workouts. So I'll do a minute walking like at a 3.5, a minute sprint like at a six at first, and then I'll go to a 3.5 walk for a minute, and then I'll go to like a 6.5 sprint for a minute and then I'll go down back down to a 3.5 walk for a minute and then I get up to a seven and about 7.5 is like the fastest I sprint but I try to get up to a seven, 7.0 sprint and that's my sprint but I have to like kind of build up to it otherwise my heart like freaks out so. Um, it's going really well though, I feel great. I feel like I'm leaning out. Um, I haven't felt this good in a long time. I took that, you know, four months away from the gym and really watched my diet but I still didn't, I felt squishy and I felt gross and I felt bigger and having all the issues with my loose skin and stuff, which I'll be putting, adding in clips showing you like the loose skin that I have, like right here, it's loose skin. I, I had my boobs done last year in August, had problems with that, had to get a redone. In February, I had to have like a reduction lift. So I technically had a augmentation reduction, if that makes sense. I have small implants in just to bring back fullness, but anyway, that's besides the point. I have a surgery channel if you're interested. But anyway, so each time with those surgeries, they lipoed here just to kind of just shape the area. So like I've been lipoed there twice. You don't really gain fat in the area again. I mean, you will eventually. It's not like it takes years, you know, and I don't eat bad and I still work out. So anyways, it's loose skin. The camera is balancing on my car. So hopefully this recording is okay. But if you guys have any requests of what you want to see in these videos, I don't really send anything. So I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. Make sure you guys like this video though if you like the workout and if you want to see more content go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on anything because that would be a tragedy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright. Alright guys so this isn't much of like a full workout this is just kind of I filmed me hitting a PR today on the leg press so um, I love this leg press machine because it really focuses on like your hamstrings and your butt and your quads like it's just all of it. So um, this is me doing the 290. Again like I've mentioned in a previous video just make sure you are you know coming all the way down to your chest and not locking out your knees slow and controlled. Um, so I did the 290 just to kind of warm up and then I added some 10 pounds on each side, you'll see. So I have 200 pounds, two 45s, and two 10s. So that equals out to 310. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was really excited about hitting this PR. I tried to do it again and I was just kind of exhausted, so it was kind of harder for me to do it. So um, when you hit like heavy weights like this, uh, just kind of keep that in mind that you kind of need the longer time to recover um, and ladies don't be afraid to go heavy like I, I do 10 310 on this and I don't have big bulky legs like I actually have pretty thin legs so uh, just don't be scared and I'm also almost 5'8 so I don't know if that's why I can go so heavy on this machine but anyway I just wanted to film my PR on this um, I was exhausted <laughs> like I had to sit and like wait it out so I didn't pass out when I stood up but anyways and then I actually filmed some of my cardio so I always end with hit cardio I feel like the hit cardio has literally like changed my physique so it's kind of hard to film um, and kind of awkward angle but I start out with like a fast walk at a 3.5 and then I speed up to like a 7.0 and a 7.5 which isn't like a full sprint but I'm just kind of building up to like a full, full sprint. I'm still kind of a beginner at this. Um, but anyway, that's kind of the end of this. 
workout, I guess, just kind of me hitting my PR and then explaining my HIIT cardio. I do that for about 15 minutes, walking, sprinting, walking, sprinting, a minute at a time. Now I have some makeup tips for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the little workout, kind of. Let's cover makeup at the gym. <laughs> I know I've covered this before, but it is something that I completely agree with. I feel like if it makes you feel more confident at the gym, do it. Like, who cares? Who cares what people are going to say? Like, do what makes you feel, you know, comfortable. Like, I feel like we, as women, we worry enough about if we look stupid, if we look fat, people are judging us. And so if it makes you feel more confident, then do it. Like for me, like I wear foundation because my face gets really red. Like when I get hot or embarrassed or anything, like I blush easily. So I wear like light foundation because it makes me feel less self-conscious when I'm like working out and getting hot and sweaty. Um, I use a really high quality foundation that works well with humidity and stuff. So duh, like sweat, it really holds and like I can like wipe my sweat, or not wipe, but like dab my sweat and my makeup doesn't even come off. So I use a really good foundation. If you guys are interested in it, comment below and I'll like give you the link because it's amazing. And then I wear a sweatband because it helps with the sweat. So that's just kind of what I do as far as makeup and then I have my eyelash extensions. So I don't wear like eyeliner and mascara and stuff because I feel like when I wear mascara, it just like melts off my face I tried that once I tried to do mascara at the gym doesn't work so thank the law for eyelash extensions I feel really confident you know with the foundation and the extensions and it makes me happy so I do it and guess what it's not your life is mine so you want to make your comments you can make your comments but your comments don't affect me your comments don't ruin my world <laughs> I'm ethnic just in case you guys didn't know I'm really not though but anyway that's my input on makeup do your thing women feel beautiful you can if, even if you want to go like full face like who cares just wash it off when you get home so you don't break out that's the only thing because sweat and leaving that in your face is just kind of you know so wash your face that's my input okay.